Today we're moving into our new apartment and I am so pumped. I absolutely loved it here. It served us uh, very well for a little over a year now. Wow. I have a Christmas tree up and it's February. <laughs> there is a story to that. Basically Chris was training and we didn't get to celebrate Christmas. So that's the military life for you. Anyways, um, I go pick up my keys soon and I'm really excited. We're getting an ocean view and it's pet friendly. Right now we have that partial ocean view and it's been nice, It's it's been great. It's actually probably one of the easier moves than what our other options were, but it's a lot of stairs. We do have an elevator, so that will save us. I'm gonna turn this thing off and start packing because clearly we have not touched anything and we have to be out by tomorrow. We've been moving and I still feel like we have a lot to do. It's midnight. We have to be out by four tomorrow. We finally finished moving. What a freaking day. But we're done. However, we have a whole new project to tackle. This is insane. And we have a lot less storage than our previous unit. So we officially moved and the view is worth it. I don't know if you can see this, but there is the biggest rainbow. It was massive earlier. It's going away because the clouds are coming. I did want to give some tips on moving, looking for places, doing your research. Sorry, there's like a little ball rolling around. If you can hear that jingle, that's my cat. We were able to get a place off base because it was full when my husband got here. He came alone, wrote down that I was coming to join him later. Because of that, we were able to get off base. If I came the same time with him, we would have been stuck in on-base housing. I think they sometimes force you to live on base. Don't quote me on that. There's nothing wrong with on-base housing. There's a lot of pros. To me, there's some cons too. So it really kind of just depends on who you are. Some people love it. If you have a dog, I highly recommend on base because sometimes it's really hard to find a yard. But we got lucky, we got to be off base. We live just north of Sunabe, which is a very popular area right outside Katina Gate 1. It's a little bit quieter, but it's right by the seawall. There's like a, a north seawall and you can do diving and snorkeling and there's like a park, so we love it, it's great. I had asked our current housing agent if she had, if she knew of any units that were gonna be on a higher floor that are pet friendly and they didn't know any. There's like multiple housing companies and if you just Google like Okinawa property management companies, like they will all pop up. And so I was just going by each one, one by one and seeing their, looking at their website and also checking their Facebook. Some of them are not very active on Facebook. Some of them are really, really good. Just check them all out. <laughs> I would say the one that we were using is like kind of in the middle. I recognize the view and I, I was like, that's, that's the building we live in. Reviews are saying when you move out, they nickel and dime you for everything. You do have to put like a pretty hefty deposit down. And then I was reading that people were having to pay after they, they lost their deposit and then they also had to pay more. I guess that's just the dicey roll. So if that like scares you to no end, then maybe don't go with a housing agency that has reviews like that. It worked out, we're very happy. We do have to pay a fee. Um, it was about like a thousand yen, no, a thousand US dollars. So very pricey, but my husband does want to try and maybe extend here. So to us, if we got the place that we wanted, it was worth it to move. One of the Facebook groups is off base housing, like Okinawa, I will link it below. Basically it's lots of different property management companies posting the availability of different units all in one Facebook group, which is really cool. Or you can say, hey, I'm looking for a three bedroom, like house with a garage. You might get lucky, people might, you know, write and see your post and respond to you. If you are living off base, um, it's very common to not have a dishwasher, but a oven. Also, storage is not very common in Japanese housing. I'm just guessing here, but they don't want to like put a bunch of shelving built in if you don't necessarily need it. 
So we need it. We have a lot of dishes and kitchen stuff and I like to do like bulk supplies of a lot of things. So it helps keep our cost of groceries down, but then it requires us to have a little bit more space in the kitchen. We had to go to Notori and we had to buy an entire shelving unit for this place, which was not very cheap. So be prepared for those type of purchases. Um, if they're like individually owned, everything is different. This place had a couch, they had a guest bedroom. So we didn't have to buy that. We're just borrowing it basically. So that was really nice. I have been able to compost out here. That will be in another video. Come on in. We've got a huge shoe closet here. So that's really nice. And we have our house slippers that we always wear, which is a nice habit I hope we take <laughs> back to the States. So this is the master. This is a king size bed, so it kind of takes up the whole thing. Um, rooms aren't the biggest here, um, but we have a beautiful view. This is Kadena Marina, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Today's kind of a crappy day outside, but we can do a little, little deck tour. We do have like a decent amount of closet space, but it doesn't go very deep, so. So what we, what we my side. Maybe we should not open my side. So okay, so then we have the actual like toilet room. So it's usually separate than the shower bathroom. So it comes with a nice little bidet, which is great. Might have to bring that back to the States too. A little sink. Um then I'll show you. Our bathroom. So our unit came with a washer and dryer, which is really nice. Still a little different getting used to like Japanese um, appliances. So we kind of just do like an auto setting, but there are multiple settings here. So we have like a whole little vanity area storage down there. And then this is the bath shower room. <laughs> It's connected to the bathtub, so it's all one one wet wet room, I guess, which is cool. So we really like that. Okay, now we're gonna head into the living slash dining room slash kitchen. One big open room, which I love. So here's kind of like the living area. We're on like one of the end units, so. view all the way over to the ocean that's facing west and then the marina is south um, it has been storming a ton so there's kind of rocks and like garden stuff everywhere but I did start composting so I have a little compost bin out here and it does work Let's see how it's doing oh it's pretty far down yep it's doing pretty good um, okay, let's head back inside. We're gonna go out to the dining room area here. And then we kind of have like, this is a really weird location for us. So it's like part pantry, part like appliances, random like suitcases. I think it's supposed to be like a closet, but it just doesn't, it's not very useful for us to put any clothes there. So we move outside. We have a little swing, but it's been crazy stormy in June. So it's kind of taken down right now. Oh my gosh, it's so wet out here. It's beautiful. So this is like the Mizugama, Kadena, Cho area. Um, Kaneku, Kaneku Park. Um, got some furniture, some plants that have died. And that's about it. Our deck needs to be done still. Um, it's just been really hard with the storm. So we'll go back inside and do the other two rooms in the kitchen. Whew. Okay, so we'll head, we'll head left. This is, I could be a second or it could be a third bedroom. We kind of use it as an office. Um, got a little computer area, my keyboard another closet so it's pretty small 
Um, but you could easily fit a bed in here, which just take up most of the spots. We've got some, our dive gear. <laughs> so all the fun activities in that closet. And we'll head over to the kitchen. And so I love this like open space. This side, this side I can cook. However, this was not built in at all. Um, I mentioned it before, but we did have to purchase these at Notori because we needed more storage. They're, they only had, like this is an under the sink, so it was just these here and here. So it is very common to buy shelving and cab or like cabinets and, and stuff like that. So it was easy to find, just kind of frustrating that you had to purchase it. Um, our sink, no garbage disposal. I've gotten used to it. We've gotten used to doing our own dishes. So if that's like a deal breaker for you, sometimes it's harder to find off-base housing with those things, but it doesn't mean they don't exist. It's just few and far between. Um, we got a free gas stove, which is nice. We have like a little built-in grill and I like, I like to make toast on this, it's great, but you can grill other things on there, which is really cool. Um, the fridge came with the place, which was nice, kind of empty because I'm going out of town. Well, looks like we have a lot of condiments, so. And uh, it's like separated, which is really nice too. Freezer's down at the bottom, a little built-in ice maker. Our unit personally did come with this and a microwave. I don't know, it might do other things and it, as an oven too, but I can't figure it out. So I think it's just a microwave. So we did get like a Ninja foodie and I love this thing. You can air fry, you can bake so many things. It's like a cooker all in one. So that was a great purchase for us, especially being off base when we don't have like that full size oven. So let's wrap this up, go to our guest room. Because these are individually owned units, like everyone is kind of different on what they include inside. So luckily we got a unit that actually loaned us a guest bed. So this is the owners, but they're letting us use it while we live here, which is really cool. So now we have a bed for guests whenever, whenever guests can come, because we thought they would be by now, but nobody knows now at this point. So that's about it. We have this little TV and um, another kind of small closet. And then the guest room also gets a lovely view of outdoors, which is really cool. If you guys have any questions or anything about how to find off-base housing or where to live in Okinawa if you're moving here, feel free to ask them in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the little house tour video of our new place. Um, we still have a lot of work to do. I am not talented at interior decorating. There are a lot of people good at that. That is not my thing. I try to buy a lot of things secondhand because that is one of the most earth-friendly things you could do when you need to purchase an item. There's a ton of Facebook groups where you can see what people are selling, especially during PCS season. I'm gonna try to edit a lot of video that I still have from Okinawa and hopefully get it up while I'm stateside. I'm basically going back just because my family's having a big family reunion. And then my husband is TDYing. He has a lot of training stateside and so I'm figuring that it's worth it for me to just stay stateside so I can spend more time with him and see my family that I haven't seen in a while. I did have to go back last fall. I did some training for my job to stay active as a flight attendant. And then I went on this epic Utah road trip with my dad. Um, we did the Mighty Five. I will link it. I don't even know if I can do that. I would highly, highly, highly recommend it. I guess that's it. Okay, have a good one guys. Thanks.